All right, howdy there. It's me, of course, John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan, in 2017. A new video for the year, right? First one of the year. So the first time you see me, welcome. And if you saw the title of this video, yeah, I'm going to be talking about something that, you know, up until now I've been quite hesitant to really do in a video because I kind of struggle to find the right words for it. But I think I got the way I want to talk about this. So, of course, um... The ultimate pitfalls of labor unions. Now, first of all, I want to say I would never, ever discourage someone from joining a labor union. My opinion, it's always better to be in a union than not to be in the union. Because ultimately, the union does and can keep your ass employed, right? If it can't keep your ass employed, if it's the right type of labor union, the right type of situation, at least you won't go home with nothing, right? which kind of leads into the pitfalls of labor unions. Now, in and of themselves, labor unions really are, don't have the ability to be a revolutionary force all their own, or on their own, right? Because labor unions operate well within the bourgeois system of capitalism. They play by essentially the rules. What labor unions essentially do, and I know from my experience being in labor unions, so labor unions fight for uh, three things, basically. Reform, uh, stopping the de degeneration of uh, labor laws, which protect workers, and concessions. These three things are the main focus of, of labor unions. Now, we know all three things are ultimately will not spark revolution at all. So why be involved in labor unions as a Marxist? Well, it's very key and fundamental that Marxists are involved in labor unions because labor unions present something interesting to the proletariat and the working class. It presents to them an opportunity to understand that they can organize themselves on a mass level, but they can fight, you know, and it's an opportunity to educate and to radicalize workers, especially people in um, in industry and um, services and um, we say soft sciences especially so if you go into a labor union expecting to it to be some revolutionary great you know type of experience you're going to be disappointed which i was when i first started to get heavily involved in labor unions right so you have to understand the situation and what you're dealing with right does that mean you need to soften your language as a marxist no and i see a lot of marxists who do this in labor unions out of fear of scaring off uh, liberal-minded people. You know, we don't say capitalist, we say management. We don't say capitalism, we say business. And it's a very odd thing. There's lots of terminology and ideological things that a lot of Marxists do to uh, try to encourage labor union participation. I, myself, I avoid that. I call it what it is. We're fighting a capitalist class. You know, this is about money. This is about power. This isn't about anything else but that. The managers you're dealing with are not really your enemy. There's agents of the bourgeois that you have to deal with just to, try to try to keep your damn job, right? So those are just some of the, the basic pitfalls I see. Where labor unions can't overcome the capitalist class because they ultimately, labor unions operate within the capitalist system. Like I said, they have three main focuses. It's reform, preventing degeneration of labor laws, which protect workers, and concessions. But I want to hear what you think about the um, purpose of labor unions and the importance of labor unions in a comment box below. First time you see me, I'd love a subscribe. You know, it means a lot to me. You get to see more videos from, videos from me whenever I have the time to do them. And, you know, hey, give it a like because, you know, hey, life is rough, right? <laughs> Likes make me smile. So until next time, this is your good buddy John Doe in Tokyo. Check it out.